Hi, this is Mimi. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to turn this Insta Photo Fun album into a little scrapbook album, which is what it's made for. So there's nothing shocking about that. However, I did pay only $2.99 for it at Ollie's, and I'm never probably going to get that sticker off, so I'm probably going to have to cover that. I don't know why they would put it there and not on this part which is also not look at that so that's all going to have to be taken care of also i have these project life four by four um page protectors i'm going to use these so i have a bunch of them and i'm going to use them up because i don't have anything else to use them on maybe not i didn't know i had so many one two three four five six seven eight nine this is a full pack so one two three four we'll do half the pack i didn't realize i had so many in here and this might be a full pack also i hope not yeah this is a full pack also and then i don't know where this one came from because it's a 10 pack correct yeah huh two three four so now i have 11 left to do whatever with okay so let me just put these away and put them somewhere okay i have all these let's find paper that we're going to use everything in my craft room is a mess all a complete mess and I'm over it. I just got paper from Echo Park and I'm looking to see what paper I got. I don't even remember how sad is that. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll use this teen spirit here and use this stuff up. Okay. Because there is blue, and I'm going to cover everything, obviously, because that ripped the paper. I'm so mad. Why would you do that? Why would you do that, people? All right, so these are 4 by 4 and then these are 2 by 2 Correct? Am I correct? Yes, 2 by 2 and then these are 4 by 4 So we need a bunch of paper to put in here. All right, so let's see what we got. I don't even really know like I looked at it but I don't remember what it looked like okay so that's three papers right there that we could get oh here's some two by twos down here that we can use so I'll grab that and then here's these These are, what are these? Four by four, these are four by four, perfect. Okay, and one of these. So that's one of every paper that we have. Let's put these aside. And let's start cutting up the ones that are the size that we need. That's the smartest way, I guess, of doing it. So I'm just gonna cut these up. And then we can get our favorite ones into our pockets. So I'm just going to the eight inch and the four inch and hoping and praying for the best. If it doesn't cut correctly, I'm just going to trim them. I struggle with this trimmer cutting out cut aparts because it's really hard for me to see where the line is with this trimmer, but I love this trimmer because it's I've had this for over a year now and I use my paper trimmer hard and I still have yet to have to change out the blade. I have two extra blades, but I have not had to change them out because it's a rotary blade. So that's why I love this trimmer, but I do very much struggle to cut out and trim out cut apart. 
because I just can't see right here. I really can't. <laughs> you have to just also remember that I am old now. I'm old. But what I'm going to do, what I usually do is then trim everything down and then I will trim it with my small guillotine trimmer so I can see easier. That's what I'll do. Okay, so we have all of these cut out. Now we need something for our cover. I don't know how big this actually is. I'm sure it was written on um, the thing, but we need to see how big our inside cover is now that that ripped. That really pisses me off, by the way. Like, why would you glue it? So this is six inches by five so six by five so we need two six by five pieces of paper let's see what we got why don't we just use the cassette tape since i already trimmed out we'll do six and then five and five yeah i just did that so we're gonna do six wait it's six inches this way Correct? I don't remember. Yes, it's six inches this way. Jeez Louise. So I got let's cut this to six and then I'll cut it to five because oh yeah, yeah. it's alright. It's okay. It's alright. Alright, let's put this aside for now and see what's what. I want to put this in so that's done. All right, so then we have this just donezo, and we don't gotta worry about it. If you're just joining my saga of my glue, I had to refill my glue bottle, and it's been giving me nothing but problems since. And I tell you, I'm not happy about that because, geez, you spend a lot of money on these kinds of things. And then this, this is the kind of stuff that happens. Oh, I forgot about this. So this one is smaller. So I'm just going to cut it. Let me make a mark. And I'm just going to use my trimmer and trim this out. So yes, I've been having nothing but problems with my freaking glue bottle since I refilled it. And it's really starting to annoy me. And I usually don't have any problems, but it's just giving me so many problems. I mean, honestly, good craft glue is not cheap. And for me to have so many issues refilling my bottle, I'm pissed. I've never, and the thing is, I've never had an issue before. Never had an issue. So did they change? This was an, I filled it from a brand new bottle. So did they change what's going on? Or do I just need a new bottle? Maybe because my bottle is my original bottle. All right. So we have that done. I'm not going to cover that. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with the front yet. So let's put this aside and then I have all of these to fill. And I already cut out all of these. So let's fill what we can. This is why I have my trimmer out here, okay? So I can trim these little bits that I screw up because I can't see with that other trimmer. I'll fully admit, like I love the trimmer. I just can't see. Fine. My kid bought me the trimmer. I love the trimmer, but for cut aparts, I really struggle. I bought this, um, this ages ago at Ollie's, and it's been sitting here. I didn't know what I was going to do with it, and then I figured I would use it for its intended purpose. And then coming up 
soon, I want to tell you guys that I am, I don't think I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to use this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to use those. Now these, I'll show you what I can, you can do with these. Since I only have a few of these two by two, I'll show you what I'm going to do with the bigger ones, with the bigger four by four. Okay. That one's good and that one's good. All right, let's get some of these in so we can clean up our area. All right, you just got to know where the top is. So here's the top. I have how many of these? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, six. I have six. I'm not a unicorn fan. Let's just get rid of the unicorn. So I'm gonna put one of these in each of these in a different spot. They don't have to be in the same spot, but I have five and I have five of these. Just add them in. Um, oh no. I guess this way. Or is it this way? I don't know. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> it's okay. And then here we have one last one. And I'm going to put it. You know what? I'm going to put this one and I'm going to show you what you could do with these leftover big ones that you have. All right, so let's put the big ones in that we decide that I decided on. Ugh, unicorns. Unicorns are not my thing. I should have bought two of these so I could have made one each for my nieces and given it to my nieces, but I can't just give them one to share. <sighs> Why did my brother have to have two girls? Why couldn't he get a girl and a boy? Life would be easier. Alright, so those are these. So now I have one of these left. And I want to take, I think, this one here. And I'm going to trim it because there's some leftover stuff on here. And then I'm going to trim it to two. Okay. By two. All right, drop by two by two, and we're going to take this, and it goes this way, and we're just going to add them in, like so. Okay. If I could get in that pocket. Jeez. All right. So now that we have that done, then you have that. I'm going to put them in here and I'm just going to put these in in any order because it does not matter. I want to finish filling those up. And then I have this one. I'm just going to put in between one of these in between these and then we're going to finish filling these up so I just need some other papers to fill these and I'll show you the different ways we're going to fill them okay so let's work on the first one let's take um, 
I want to do something that's not really directional. So let's take, I mean, it still is directional. Let's take this, these two here, put those aside, and I'm going to cut them. I'm going to cut, trim it, and then I'm going to cut a two inch strip is what I'm going to do. Two inch strip of this one, and then I'm going to do the same with this one here. Listen guys, I don't even want to tell you how hungry I am. I'm so hungry, and nobody else was hungry. And there's really nothing like quick to eat. And I'm starving. So, I'm going to do, let's cut some two inch squares off of here. Okay, and then I wanna cut a four inch strip. So I'm gonna do the same with this. A two inch, another two inch, and then a four inch. Okay. And I'm just gonna take these, I'm not even gonna bother getting out my um, scoreboard. I'm just gonna cut them in half. I mean cut them in, fold them in half. I'm not gonna bother with the scoreboard. And then this one I'm also going to fold in half and score. Well not score but crease. Alright and then we're just going to put one of these in here. This bottom one on all of these just does not want to cooperate. So we have this, like so. Seriously, the bottom ones are giving me problems. All right, so then we have one that flips up, and then we have the other ones, and we have the backs. All right, so we're gonna flip to another one. We're gonna do the same thing. this did I? No, okay. Come on. Put that in there so we have a nice flipped up one. I'm gonna put this one down here and this one this way. And that is what I screwed up over here. But then it doesn't matter. They're both gonna be Yeah, it doesn't matter what I do. All right, so then those are filled. Now we can do the same with those big ones. And the big ones, I'm going to cut same way. I'm gonna cut a four inch strip. So a four inch strip, correct? That is not four inches. <laughs> this is four inches. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, and then I'm going to cut one at eight, and then I'm going to do the same with this. I'm just trying to use up um, um, what's sitting right here. Sorry, guys, I cannot think. I just want to use up what's sitting right here and before I pull out other sheets. All right, so I'm going to flip to the back because I've already used those in the front. So I'm just going to take one of these because I hate, I absolutely hate the um, unicorns. I'm just going to take this and those are covered, all right? And then we're gonna find another one and I'm going to, like I said, I don't feel like pulling out my scoreboard just to fold something exactly in half. All right, so we're gonna put that, and we're gonna put it in here. Okay, so you have that. And then 
I don't want to do, we'll do it here. And we're going to do this one on the outside. We're going to do the same thing. Just slide it in. All right. So you have a nice flip here, some flips here. Now I need to, I need one. One more piece to cover. You know what? I'll just leave that one unicorn. Not a big deal. But I need two more of, we're going to use this one here. Two more of the two by twos is what we need. So I always, and I say this every time, but look at how much extra they gave you. They give you over the branding strip. Look at that. You always cut to 12 inches, always, because they always give you more. Two inch. I need another piece here. This piece. Oh, this won't work because of that. Hmm. But you know what will work? Cutting these down and cutting them out to um, put in the album itself. You don't have to just use photo sleeves. So I'm going to cut these. I think. holes and put them in and then I still need another piece of paper for filling those um, two by two squares so we have all these we can add come on and then I'm looking and I guess I don't really have any. This one was a didn't have as many pieces of paper. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna do another strip of this. They, yeah, they didn't have as many pieces of paper. I don't know if you ever had this, but I noticed that when I did a flip through. It's fine, it is what it is. I mean last time I checked, I'm not a tween girl, so I'm not gonna be using the this little album. And then two, eight, four. All right. Okay. the same thing and I'm just going to add them in and then some of these squares and I think I'm going to cut more of these. We need something other than what we got. Oh, they have these here that I can trim. I have another one somewhere. Where's the other one? Here it is. Flip 
to this one, and I think that's it, right? Let's do it this way this time. Oh, there's two in here, so I only needed... Ay, ay, ay. That's right. And then... This one here. And this one that I cut in half the four ways. Let's add ones in the back behind it. So that, and I can also use this same thing in the back here. Doesn't just have to be in the front. Oh, I can't. I have to do it up here. Okay. All right. And then this has to slip behind that piece. Come on. Okay. And slip this one behind that piece. All right. Now what I'm going to do is take this out and I'm going to use it to punch the holes in these guys. So I'm going to make sure <laughs> they're all the correct way. Okay, so we're gonna make sure they're the correct way. And I'm gonna use this and um, line it up and then take my crocodile and get out the piece of paper that's stuck in it so I can see would be helpful. There we go. And I'm just going to punch them all at one time because I can, because it's my crocodile. Okay. And I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. Okay. So now I can just put these in. Whoever you give this to, if you would make this project, they can print out four by four and six by six. Four by four and two by two photos. <sighs> Don't mind me. And when they do that, they can just put them in the little spots and be done. And it's a cute little album. And it was super easy to do. And I have one more of these. I'm going to trim this up. No, I'm just gonna find a, I'm just, I'm just not gonna use it. How's that? I also have these. Might as well use up these while I'm at it too. And then I can just throw them in anywhere. And what's nice about these cut aparts is that you have, decoration on the front and you can still add a photo to the back which is what I would do so I'm gonna flip this I'm just gonna add oh, not that one because that would just be weird right then I'm gonna flip farther down and put one here and then farther down and put one here and then, do I have one in the back? No, I'll put this all the way in the back. There we go. Quick, easy, little album. All right, now there's plenty of room to grow and shove things in and do whatever you want. This is just the basic album. And I think I had other, were there other cut aparts? I don't remember. Here's my other pieces of paper. I thought there was another thing of cut apart. There was. These. Where are those? Where do I have those? Right here. And then that's it. 
I don't know where everything else went. This is all I have. So what I'm going to do is trim this. You are capable of amazing things. I am going to trim this out as close as possible and put it on my front cover. with a good background piece. Let's just do this one. And just going to, you know what I'm going to do? I am just going to make marks. And you know what else I'm going to do? Take out this finger blade because I need it for tomorrow and I just saw it and I don't want to forget and I also forgot to put my pin in my glue so that's really going to suck. I'm just going to mat it. I'm just going to make marks. And I'm going to use this guy and just trim it out. Because it just fits. Okay. And find my other mark. There we go. All right. And we're going to glue this on. Okay. Glue that on. We're going to glue this. I'm going to use double stick tape to put this on the cover. And then there are some stickers. So I'll see what kind of stickers might look good. And then that's, that's it. Now, the only reason I bought this is because I stumbled upon it. And I thought, well, what a good little album. It's nice. It's small. All right, there we go. Cute. And then where did I do with the stickers? Here's the stickers. What do we got? Let me put the pin in my glue. Let's put the pin in my glue. All right. Let's see if we can find some cool stickers. Nope, that blends in too much. Okay. Do lollipop. Nail polish. And let's do one more. Oh, let's do this pink high top. All right. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't mind me. It's okay. I'm okay. So this is it. Just cut apart, literally cut apart, and some two by two pieces of paper, and you have an album. Very easy. And honestly, if you don't have an album base, and if you don't have these that I had on hand for some reason, I don't even know why I have them because I don't do Project Life. Um, you can make this out of chipboard and rings. Chipboard and your um, cinch. You can make it in so many ways and not have to, even if you do have little album, these little things, you can still use chipboard and rings. You don't have to have an album for it. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit the like button. It helps my channel immensely when you do that. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I will see you guys in the next crafty video and have a great rest of your day.